Welcome back. You've seen I finally got the comic shop review started on my last video. Now we're back to doing some of these, um, op you know, purchase openings and no need to delay. We're just going to get right into it. Thanks for coming back and watching another opening with me. Um, you saw my last video, we went over Nucadia, what I liked, what I don't like, what I wish they could do better, what I think they do great with. And now we're just going to start getting into openings. <laughs> so we'll just tear right into it. Don't need to have the packaging, you know, don't need to worry about it. We're just going to take it as it is. Hopefully get through these things a lot better going forward. So we've got the book and yeah, these are, these are very, very strong tape. These have very strong tape. So yeah, <laughs> this one's actually really good. So I'm just going to use the tear, the tear tab because Wow, been a while since I opened one of these. So we're gonna just get right into it and take a look at the receipt real quick. Make sure nothing is missing. Nope, nothing's missing. Okay, so first off the bat, Astonishing Ant-Man number six. This is the first time Cassie Lang becomes Stinger, I wanna say. Um, we could look these up. Ant-Man number six. Uh, yes, first appearance of Cassie Lang as, Ant as Stinger. You can see it's supposed to be a near mint with no real defects. So like we always do, we're going to test out that theory and see just how good or bad <laughs> the, the condition is relative to what it's supposed to be. So we'll get through this. This one actually didn't look too bad in the bag. So we'll take a look. Um, okay, well. <sighs> Right there. That's not the cut. That's a tear in the cover. Um, there, right there. Right there, tear in the cover of an otherwise great book. So, not starting off well. <laughs> not starting off well. Uh, this one I paid four dollars and thirty-one cents for. Um, honestly, aside from that, the book looks really really good um but yeah but you can see right in the top right corner it's a nice big tear well it looks big on the thing but it's not big but it's a it's a tear <laughs> so yeah this goes this goes into the pile to send back and say do whatever you want with this. I got no use for it. Next up is Infinity Inc. number 13. This is the first cover art by Todd McFarlane, I want to say. Um, whoa. Uh, Infinity Inc. number 13. First published artwork by Todd McFarlane. And this is supposed to be a near mint minus. And you can see all the subgrades. So we'll crack this one opened and see what we get from this. And this one I paid $3. So if it's right, it's a good deal. So, um, 
I don't remember these books being so thick in terms of paper quality and um, cover quality, but this is a very thick book. Like, everything is thick. Um, see that? That's not a printing. That's, a, that's something on the book, something torn. Right there, you can see that, that white, that is something torn off the book. It's not the book itself. So again, an otherwise great book in terms of page quality, covers, cleanliness. Um, yeah, a great book, but again, it's damaged. And here we'll go, we'll take a look here. Here's the Ant-Man. If you look, cover tears, tiny indents. Doesn't say anything about anything about um, a tear. And the same as this, cover tears, tiny indents. Um, it doesn't say anything about any kind of a little bit of a tear or a scratch in the cover. Well, over two on the return to this stuff. Next up is slapstick number one. Oh crap, this is number two. Unbelievable. Slapstick 1992 number one. They sent me number two. It's, it says number one, but it's labeled number two. Holy shit, this is three for three. Um, this one cost me $3.70. I'm not even gonna bother opening it. It's gonna go right back and say, yeah. Um, okay. This one, New Titans number 99. This is the first appearance of Arsenal. This I know had some problems, supposedly. So it's rated very fine. And if you look at the end, cover clean says medium wear some ink. Um, I bought it knowing that that was the case. I only, I paid $2.50 for it. So I, I've been looking for this book for a long time. Um, Arsenal was always a cool character to me. And I just was never able to really find this in a decent, um, a decent price. So I figured I'd get this and we'll see what happens. Let me see if I can turn on another light here. Okay, so I think this is what they're talking about with the cover being dirty. Um, I don't know what that is, it's not ink. It's some kind of a brown something or other. Um, and we have some here too. So I don't know what that is, that's not ink. Here's the rest of the book, we can take a look. You can see along the spine too, there's like that brown stuff again, but it doesn't look like any spine ticks. The book looks really good. It's got some nice white pages. That brown stuff um, doesn't seem to permeate the page, the interior. It's, uh, let's take a look on the back cover. Well, the back inside cover is black, so it's not gonna show any of that. So I might be able to clean this up. This That's why I bought this, to see if I could clean it up, you know, cause you can see maybe, um, yeah, you can see something in here. I don't know if that's dirt or if that's the cover. It looks like it's a little bit of dirt or something. I don't know what it is. But yeah, maybe I might be able to clean it up. So we'll see. This one is actually a keeper. Um, next one is Warlord number 56, 55. Uh, first appearance of Arion, the Lord of Atlantis. And this is supposed to be a very fine plus. There's all your subgrades. 
I feel like I'm doing a um, a PSA or not PSA, um, like a Beckett, you know, cards um, grading opening with all the subgrades and everything like that. Um, this is, like I said, this is uh, Warlord number 55. I paid $4 for this, first appearance of Arion, um, because if it's in as high grade as it's supposed to be, you know, that's a really good price for a book this old. Um, it does look pretty clean for the most part. There is, I don't know if you could see, there's some discoloration up here. I don't know what that is exactly, but overall, there's a little bit of something here that could probably come out. There's a little bit of overspray, that blue thing you can see here. Um, right along here, there's some overspray. Uh, I'm not worried about that. Overspray is normal. Okay, so this I'm pretty much... Oh, wait, no. There we go. There's a folded over corner. Um, and you can see there not in the greatest condition, that corner. Um, I should be able to press it out. There's also, let's see if we can get it on here. It looks like it's a white cover, so it's really hard to see. Um, but it, there's a crease over here, but um, it says quarter inch crease. And there's a crease on the bottom. Oh, wow, now I'm seeing it. See, this is what's hard with these white covers. Um, you can see that there's something off about this area of the spine. Trying to see if we could get an angle to see it. Again, the white cover, you could see, like right here, if we can get it to zoom in. Let's see if we can... Yeah, it's really hard to see, but you can see something right there. You can faintly see it because it's white on white. It's like a crunch and a curb. So we'll see. We'll see if I could push, you know, press that out a little bit. Um, not too bad. Uh, next one is... Teen Titans, New Teen Titans number 20. Why am I saying Titans? Like I'm enunciating everything. Uh, New Teen Titans number 20. This is from the 84 series. This is where uh, Jason Todd joins the Teen Titans. And this is supposed to be a near mint minus. And I paid $4 for this one. So... Let's see what this brings. Okay. Wow, this one too. It's thick. I'm don't, I honestly don't remember some of these books being this thick. But that's good because it's sturdy. And this one, another white cover, so it's difficult to make out dents or anything. But this one actually does look pretty clean. Um, doesn't look like there's much dirt and I don't see any spine ticks or anything. Uh, yeah, I'll hold it upside down. So here's the rest of it. The corners look pretty sharp. The back has subscription curl a little bit, but all in all, It's pretty clean. You can see how white it is. Don't mind my the scrapes on my finger. I did not get into a fight. I actually graded myself. <laughs> so, yeah, that's that. Um, but, yeah, so this one, this one I'm actually happy about, so we'll do with that. Here's a big one. Um, Stormwatch number 27 from the 1993 series. 
1992 series. Um, crap, this one is something to do with the authority stuff. I can't remember exactly. Uh, Stormwatch number 37. All right, first appearance of uh, Jack Hawksmore, Jenny Sparks. That's the big one, Jenny Sparks and Rose Tattoo. Um, so this is supposed to be, wait for it, Near Mint Plus. Ready? Cross the fingers, cross the fingers. Um, and this I paid, this I paid $6.85 for. So, I actually paid six eighty five. I thought I paid less than that. Um, okay, I paid six eighty five. Um, <laughs> I thought I paid less. I thought I got a better deal, but I guess not. So here we are. Um, looks pretty good. Take a look at it with you. Staples are on the front of the cover, which can't really do anything about. Um, take a look at the back. Doesn't look like any spine ticks on the back, which is a good sign. There's a little something down, he down here that is the front for you. That's the top of the back, but I might be able to just, you know, neatly press that away. Um, white pages, nice white pages. Um, yeah, you can see there, the white pages. Actually very happy with this. Actually very happy with this. Now, if the movie proceeds or whatever they do with Superman and all the crap, who the hell knows, and Mar they don't fuck it up and do it like what the DCU and Marvel did and all that stuff. All right, so next is Bald of the Brave. Um, I know there was spec on this a while ago. This is supposed to be a near mint minus. Um, I bought it simply because I got it for 275. So it was a high grade copper age book. Um, first, first appearance maybe? I'm not even sure if it's the first appearance or if it's just the first series. I don't think it's the first appearance. First solo series, okay, yeah. I was gonna say, he's been around way too long with Thor to be a first appearance. Um, so, okay, well. <sighs> the streak had to end sometime. Right there. That's a nice long crease. Um, doesn't seem to break color, so that's okay. But we also have, if we check out, um, that looks like a production printing error. So that's okay. But I did notice somewhere else on the back, I don't know where, um, there's more creasing. Oh, it's along the spine. So we'd have to try to get a, an angle on it. But, okay, see if I hold it at this angle, you can see on this side, um, right here, you can see there's creasing there. There's, and that looks like Spine tick? Color breaking spine tick, maybe? Right where that green was? Okay. And then there's more. Uh, another part. See, it's more white cover, so it's hard to get that angle to see the creasing. But here, you can see right, right here, there's creasing. Um, all over here. And then there's more towards the other side in the white, but eh, I can I can live with it. I can live with it. Um, next one up is a book that I already have. I don't think I have the newsstand copy. Uh, this is Sectors number one. 
I only bought it because, you know, nostalgia is kicking up for, you know, has been a thing so, you know, for a while. And I remember these toys from when I was a kid in the 80s. So I figured, you know, I've got the one regular edition. Let's get a new stand while we're at it. And it's supposed to be in your mid minus. And it cost me $3. So, you know, $3, you know, the nostalgia bug, all that stuff. Why not? Um, okay. This, like many others of its era, has, see down here at the corner, that little, that little hang tag. Oh, it's almost like a skin tag. Um, that's production stuff where they, it's just how they cut these books. It's the same thing like on these pages at the bottom. You can see the holes at the bottom. Um, they, they run through the book. It's just how they did things back then. Um, but we do have... Uh, I'm just going to stop trying to do this. You, you might be, actually be able to see it right there inside the 75 cent thing. There's a, there's a crease in there. How they got a crease like that, I don't know. But overall, not too bad. So, okay, so for this one, you know, white, white pages, nice white pages, everything, I'm okay with it. So, yeah, uh, a crease I could probably get out, not that big of a deal. So again, $3, I'm okay. Uh, well, we got two more left. This is a, these are two bigger ones. First one up. Avengers 232, first time she, you know, when She-Hulk gives Eros the name Star Fox, uh, this is supposed to be a very fine plus. Now it's supposed to have no tears, tiny blunting on the corners. So we'll see. Um, it's a new stand. Uh, I... I paid nine sixty four for this one, so if it holds up, it's a good deal. So back cover, we'll take a look. You can see a dent right here, but it doesn't look to be a color breaking tick. But there is a color breaking tick on top of it. It looks like, um, but for the most part. The back spine does look pretty clean. Um, there is a slight roll, as you can see up here. You can see part of the the little um, the white part rolled over, but it's the slightest of slighty. So that's not too bad. Um, let's take a look at the front cover, and you can see here. That's where it's rolled a little bit. Um, but all in all, a little bit of a soft corner at the spine up there. Nothing too terrible. Um, I'd say off white to white pages. Looks like there's nothing terribly wrong with the pages. You can see off white, white, not, you know, not the most terrible, but. I'm pretty happy with that one. I am pretty happy with that one, yes. And the last one in this run is Green Lantern number 188. 88, 188? Yeah, 188. First appearance of Mogo. Uh, this is the planet Green Lantern. This is supposed to be a near mint minus. So we will check these out. And this one I paid 850. So again, if this hits the way it's supposed to, it's a good goodbye. Um well, right off the bat, I don't think this is part of the cover. I'm 99.99% sure. It might be a printing error. I'm not 100% sure. I'll try to get it out. Um, 
Otherwise, let's take a look. Spine looks pretty damn good. We have a little bit of a soft corner at the bottom of the spine. Um, nothing too terrible there. We have a sharp corner on the open side the top. We've got a sharp corner. Is that it? No? Okay, yeah. So sharp corner at the open side on the bottom. No tears along the sides. Got some nice page quality. Let's see. Do we have... Okay. So nice white pages. So on this one, I'm also happy. So after a terrible start with the better buys, supposedly, um, where we had a book with a tear in the cover, a book that wasn't even the right book that I was supposed to get. Um, so yeah, all in all, you know, it's like I said in the, in the previous video where I did the review and all my other videos when I open up these books, uh, well, purchased from this store, it's always gonna be hit or miss. You have to be very open-minded to what you're gonna be getting, especially if you don't have the images to, you know, to see it with. So that being said, I'll see you in the next one.